-hmm. You know, I'm gonna tell you something. Um, we we spent the better part of this conversation, and you were talking about, uh, you know, the 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 struggles and and the different things that you went through at the height yes. of your career that really brought you back down to earth. Mm -hmm. And sometimes these things happen to us for a reason. And, you know, I, even me and you speaking about Jay Morant right now, he could really benefit from your story. Understanding yeah. how even earlier you said um, decisions. Yeah. The, the, the people don't understand the power, the, the power in a decision for, for cool. better or for worse. It's coming. You make one wrong decision, or if yeah. you make a right decision, it could one it right could, decision. You're good. Yeah. Alter your life forever. forever. Either which way. So I wish that that you know, I hope maybe off record one day you two get to meet and you get to chop it and say, yo, look. I love meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because because what he doesn't realize, it's it's people, his his parents, um, agents, friends, aunties. It's a lot of people who are now either eating off of of him, or being supported by him, or he's just the success story that gives them hope. Yeah. And, and and if he throws all that away, so many of the people's hopes, their dreams, it goes with him. So, yeah. I, you know, I, I feel for that young brother and I hope he gets it together and I hope he gets some dudes in his corner to to help him. You made it out. Like you, he and and I feel like I feel like when God when and you he got God given talent. When you when God give you a talent. Like certain stuff, like like you saying my my moving through that that wasn't just me. The way I moved through the game, that was that was God leading me. He knew I was on a, a on this path. He's like leading me. So when He gives you a gift, and He rewards you for that gift, when you your decisions now are stronger than you think they are. When you make a decision, He's looking at you like, and I gave you all of this. I I gave you that gift to be able to do this. Now here go these decisions. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna, you're not gonna make good decisions all the time. But there's gonna be some big ones. The decision you make, I, I'm, it's coming. Whatever you did, it's coming. So it's like you know, you just you gotta learn from it. So it's basically like your your decisions are more sensitive when you have God given gifts and talents. You know, so I feel like he has a God given talent. So his decision, every decision he makes matters to so many people and himself. So I think he definitely needs to get people around him. That, that understands that as well. Like, can't you just can't do no anything. You're not one of us. You can't do that. No, you, know? you can't. Yes, yeah. yeah. You can't. So, Those yes. are some powerful I wish I had. I wish I had. You know, I wish I had more people around me when I was. Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like I said, I can't even say that because people were telling me not to do that. So I just didn't listen. I didn't listen. I was a person that didn't listen. So, yeah, you get spanks, spankings for that. You know. So take your spanking. And get back in there. You know what I'm saying? It ain't over. Don't don't be one of them niggas that be like, oh, they spanked me. It's over. I ain't gonna never be nothing. Ah. No, nigga. Take learn how to take your spanking and get out and get back out there. Get back in the game. That's Straight right. Up. Don't do it again. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna the spanking the next time gonna be a bigger spanking. You want nothing, you want a bigger one. Because them spankings don't stop. But the bad decision making can stop. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Okay, yeah. before I let you up out of here. You started off talking about your new ventures. Yes. Enlighten, enlighten us once again. What can we expect? Like, like for everybody who's following you, rooting for you, and, yes. and you know, listening, just got through listening to your story. Like, yo, I want the best for this brother because he's no different than me. We done all been through something. We done all been hard headed, made bad decisions. And here it is, you, you, you're about to do it all again. What, yes. what, what is it that we can look forward to? To see him from from Mickey Wright, not Mickey. Man, right. Yeah, yeah. Right now, Mickey Wright is working on like I've always been a creator, so I, I I got a couple inventions that I've been working on. I got this new company called Creative Juice LLC. Um, possibly about to be working with Carmelo. Uh, Carmelo reached out to me, and well, his people reached out to me, and he told me what they he had just invested in this tech company. So I got a couple ideas I sent over there. They hit me back about a couple of them. So I'm like, I'm I'm, I'm working on that. I got a, a new TV show that I'm working on. Uh, my boy Mark Spark told me to holler, tell you what's up. 
because I'm, I'm oh, working with him. Him on, yeah, yeah, he said he, he loving what you're doing. He said he see you. So he told me to tell you what's up. So, but he told me, do not talk about the show that we about to do. So I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> okay, so, I, so I'm doing some TV stuff, not on the show, but I'm behind the scenes creating and, I, you know, doing my own thing with that. And of course the music, I, I just started this uh, label, the Sound Mob. I'm uh, trying to put put a little R uh, 2023 2024 R and B vibe uh, group together. You know, some from some stuff that I love. Uh, three girls that I that I met out here that I'm going to fat talent talent shows again, finding talent at talent shows. I'm just getting back into the fun of where I was when I first started. Like I'm back to the basics, like having like having fun, and I'm I'm loving this new place I'm working at. If anybody out there needs distribution for their records, if you've been doing your work, or if you're just talented, or you know somebody talented, hit me up. Uh, Memph hits at beatroot.com, uh, B E A T R O O T. Uh, it's made in Memphis uh, Entertainment. And uh, like I said, I work for Mr. David Porter, legendary Hall of Fame writer out of Memphis, Tennessee, Stax Records, Isaac Hayes, the whole shit, bang, bang. And uh, I'm just back, I'm just back having fun. So that's what I'm doing. Everything I'm doing got, got, got a little fun in it now. And it's, it's back to, it's, I'm seeing it from a different perspective now. So everything I'm doing now is not all music, but music will always be incorporated in my new ventures. That's what I'm doing, man. And being a great dad and being a, um, possibly being a great husband one of these days after I figure I, this love thing, I'm going I'm to let it, I'm going to let it alone for one second. <laughs> Well, leave it alone. I gotta do my. I gotta get a little. I gotta need some help. I need a. I need a. I need a marriage mentor before I can do that again. So I'm always gonna be looking for Mrs. Wright, you know. But other than that, I'm just. I, just, I feel. I feel like uh, God giving me a second chance, and everything that I'm touching now may it turn into gold. You know, I, I pray more now, and I know that he's. I know that he's in front of me now this time. You know, I know. I know who helped me through that first time, and that's like now I gotta respect my respect him enough to make great decisions for the things that he's given me and the, and the, the creativity that he still lets run through my brain, you know? So that's what I'm doing these days. More hands-on. I'm actually even producing tracks now myself. Like instead of just, I used to orchestrate everything. Now I'm actually a part of my own production team. So I'm doing tracks. Anybody need tracks? I got a whole production team, sound mob. We do tracks. We do music. We write. We doing all that stuff via beat root music. So, um, you know, that's what I'm doing, man. You know, if, if you fuck it with me, come tune in with your boy. Come come get with me because I'm on to greatness and I'm going to stay on that. And uh, all you pretty ladies, stay away from me because anybody got time for that. <laughs> well, I would tell you, my brother, like it, it has been my pleasure sitting down, speaking with you. Um, you know, I love I love that that you're incorporating God yeah. into to this journey and understanding that all that you've been through, God never left your side. And that, and that is so important uh, for anybody who's going through anything. Even when you think he, even when you think he's gone, he's, he's still right there. Even when you smacking stuff against the wall and, and mad and like, ah, you do this to me. He's still sitting right there. Like, that's why I call myself God's kid. Cause it's like, I treat him like, like he is my dad. Like he's not my my earth dad but he's i treat him like my dad i got, got god's kid everywhere that's my brand and it's like no matter how old you are or how how smart you think you are to him you man you're nothing more than a kid i even write god's kid i write it like the kid part like a little like a kid would you know like you know how those letters look that's i feel like that's how we write to him in real life like that's we think we're doing big things even a nigga that invited and invented the, the airplane to god you're still a kid bro that's it. That's it. So, so be so be that. So be that. Have fun like a kid. Learn like a kid. Make your mistakes like a kid. Get up. Like get back in the game. Like you, you you're never gonna get past being a kid to that man. You know. So have fun. No, we are all his children, and I'm so <laughs> happy that you you have that perspective. Um, but Memph, is, again, it's my pleasure, man. Uh, keep up the great work. Thank I'm you, bro. Same to you. Things from you. Yes, sir. I, you know I'm gonna call you when they popping, popping, boy. <laughs> my brother, my, my brother. dog. You already know what it is. Hits committed for life, partner. Yeah. All right, son. One love. One love, my dog. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message. 
feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.